Hey everyone. I'm going to show you today a little bit about the burning characteristics of textile fibers and to show you how to do it. Um, you need a table that's flame proof, so I'm on a stainless table. You can spread a piece of tin foil out if you don't have a place that um, is fireproof, you don't want to stain it or mark anything. Uh, you need some tweezers to hang on to your material with, a tea candle, your fabrics, and I have a bowl of water just in case things get out of control, and a lighter to um, light my tea candle. I also have a list of burn characteristics, which there's a download link for you so you can review them. I would take a look at it before you burn so you know what's going on. You need to look at a few things you need to look at before you put it in a flame you get it close does it shrink from the flame does it shrink and then ignite um, what does the outer smell like what happens when it lights on fire does it completely ignite does it ignite and put itself out does it ignite and sputter uh, and what the ash type is when you um, smell it be careful it's obviously hot and you don't want to get it too near your face. Um, if it smells like paper, then it's cellulosic. It could still be man-made. It could be rayon or tensile or modal, which are cellulosic from trees, but they're put in a chemical um, uh, solution and forced through a spinneret and they're considered man-made. Same with bamboo. It's Even though it's natural, we think it is, it's man-made because they put it in this solution. It could be cotton. Um, there's, um, let's see, jute, linen, hemp, they'll all act the same way and smell like paper. If it smells like barbecue, then it's silk. If it smells like burning hair, then it is hair. It's animal hair, though. It's wool or alpaca or um, uh, cashmere or mohair, perhaps. Um, and then acrylic smells like celery and poly also smells, um, like a chemical. It smells pretty bad. The chem, the chem, uh, petrochemical ones, they stink basically. Okay. So I'm going to take this. This is a shop towel. It's polyester. I'm going to hold it close to the fire. It shrinks a little bit. It catches on fire. Ew, it stinks. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it right now because it's hot. I don't feel like burning myself. Um, this, I think, is cotton. Okay. It doesn't shrink. It just sets itself on fire. This is not going to put itself out. <sighs> okay. <sighs> it's got glowing edges and I just lost all my swatches. Um, oh, hello. <sighs> there you go. And this is why you have a, a table that... Um, is burn proof okay yeah it's gonna keep going okay just so you're aware this kind of stuff happens okay so the ash is soft and gray it's still going I'm gonna let it sit there for a bit oh I put my candle out too okay All right, this I bought at a fabric store. They said they didn't have a label on it. They told me it was silk. I didn't pay very much for it. I love orange. It's like a couple bucks a yard, so I find it hard to believe. Okay, it shrinks from the flame. It smells terrible. Kind of sweet, though. Terrible and sweet. Um, it's got a hard bead on it, which I'm also not going to touch yet. Um, this is supposed to be wool. It's a yarn, so you could do it this with yarn, or you could do it with fabric. Okay, it doesn't shrink. Well, it shrinks a little bit, but ignites. Self-extinguishes. Smells like burning hair. Here's another yarn. This one is this one's all synthetic, I know that. Um, okay. Shrinks, sputters. Um looks like a plasticky bead. I'll touch that later. And this is supposed to be silk chiffon. Okay, shrinks. Oh, it gets put out. It smells like barbecue, but that does not smell good. Okay, so let's check these. All right, so this one is um, has a, a soft bead. It's crushable too, so I think it's a blend of something like poly and maybe some some paper or something. And then this is completely crushable. Okay, that one was definitely cotton. It smelled like wood. This one smelled sweet and and chemical like this has a really hard bead to it this one um smelled like burning hair and it's got a crushable bead so that's wool 
This one is all synthetic. Um, it's it's acrylic and I think it's nylon. So part of it crushes and part of it is like a piece of plastic, melted plastic. And this has a crushable edge, no bead on it. And this is silk. I hope this helps you and I hope you have fun burning your fabrics and please don't burn your house down. Bye.